I'm Richard Atkins and I'm the President of the Association of Colleges and I'm the Principal of Exeter College. Can we talk about the manifesto? Yeah, we're, that's really the, 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 the corner piece, you know, the centrepiece of my year as President and of this conference really. Um, with a fixed term Parliament we obviously know the date of the elections in May the 7th and we are very, very keen to promote the interests of colleges and by that I mean our students and our staff to all of the politicians of all of the main parties in the run-up to the election and obviously immediately afterwards and I suppose this year with such an unpredictable outcome and, and so much at stake we're obviously having to work very hard to do that so we've spent the last three months since I became president consulting with colleges and others to try and get the right asks. We've got ten of them with these three themes and we're trying to ensure that all of the political parties understand our messages, understand that they are for the benefit of students. We're realists, I mean further education is very much focused on employment and employers so we don't think there's loads more money. We're asking for lots of money with no strings attached, that would clearly be totally unrealistic but we are asking for a fair deal for our learners uh, and um, if I focus on two or three of the asks, um, I think the, the two or three that, uh, that uh, are very relevant to that, one is the need for better careers education in schools. We find too many young people are not aware of the qualifications, the courses, the careers that are open post-16, so we'd like to see a real improvement in careers education. We're obviously, um, uh, we'd like to see uh, better transport. It's um, uh, uh, very inconsistent and patchy. Different parts of the country have different schemes. In some areas, young people and their families are paying up to £700 a year for travel. It's a lot of money if you've got four children. Uh, you know, that would be a lot of money. Um, and and for, for, for adults, um, we're looking to, to have the same entitlements in terms of grants and loans that you'd have to, to go to university. There might be less because the course is part-time or shorter, but what we don't want is to discriminate against people who need to hold down a job or live locally and want to do their HE part-time. Our manifesto has three themes and um, the first is supporting student choice because we recognise there is quite rightly a marketplace post-16 but we want everybody to be able to access the different parts of that marketplace if that's the right choice for them. The second is to sustain our economic recovery through education and training. We believe that we are still emerging from an incredibly difficult recession and that skills and education and training are key to our future prosperity. And finally, we talk about creating a fair and effective education system, which is about the funding that supports all that. We're realists. Further education is um, very closely linked to employment. We know there's not more money. In fact, we think there'll be further cuts. But what we are asking for is fairness in the way that uh, the fu funding and the finance is handled over the next five years. Of